Yes, good morning everybody. We're up nice and early today. I'm gonna go and see our cacao lot. And I just had an encounter with a very determined spider. I don't normally mind spiders. This one came straight at me. I screamed like a little girl. And I just woke the whole house up. They need the cockles in the Philippines when you've got me screaming about spiders. Oh dear, I don't know if I'm gonna live this one down. So Jane and me are going to go to our cacao lot and we're going to go and work on the land a bit. It's 7am, definitely have heard a grown man scream before here in the Philippines. So some people are up early, a lot of people in the province do get up early. There's some music behind us already. Uh, it's Jane, what's that for? You just killed the spider? No, we didn't kill the spider. It lives to fight another day or scare me another day. So Jean's going to cut this banana leaf. So what's the leaf for? We'll throw it away. You do. I picked the old one. Some little cows here growing. Look at these little ones. These are new from last time. And these, oh, that one's a bit rotten. But these will grow bigger and become usable. So we're in the cacao lot now. And it's looking good. Here's those bananas. They're still not quite ready yet. So those are lakatan. So what type of bananas good for cooking? Um, saba. Saba. Mm, that's a good for cooking. So lakatan more for eating, saba more for cooking. Yes. That's for your banana queue, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Jane is just checking now the cacao for any rotten cacaos, any dead leaves to to trim off to try and help the cacao grow a bit more healthy. So that's the thing with this cacao lot, we have so many trees in here, but they're not all good trees. No. We have to work out which are the good ones and which aren't. So we can maximise the area really. It's a 400 square metre lot and we want to grow as much as we can. Cow take up quite a lot of room. If it's not producing, it's not healthy. 
We might have to make a difficult decision and replace it with something else. Oh, it's yeah, not. It's, oh, it's not. It's broken. Oh, it's yeah, it's just about to hatch. Oh, what is that then? Is that a bird? <laughs> Don't. It could be a lizard. Give a lizard, but look at this. This nest. This is a nice egg. So we just found a nest and there's an egg inside. It looks like it's hot already. It looks like it's a lizard. Look, it's a bird. Lizard? No. It's a bird. Bird house. Bird house? Oh, yeah. Well. And here too. Oh, I see. So the birds have made a nest in here. So we probably need to um, clean this up and transfer this in the pot. So that's going to be a calamansi. So as we said before, we love to produce as much as we can in terms of produce, fruits, vegetables, yes. so that we can live off the land as best we can. It helps our budget, it helps the environment. Something satisfying about having your own fruits and vegetables. They're quite easy, aren't they, to grow the calamansi? They tend to grow reasonably quickly. They are quite useful, quite nice to use. Go calamansi. Oh, that's my nice smell. It's not about calamansi, it's really sweet. A bit sour, a bit sweet. It's nice to drink. I got it, I got it. So once a week when we're living in Ormoc City, we're still gonna to come to our lot here and we're gonna plant. So once a week, so once a week we're gonna go, no, I'll do it again. So once a week, we're gonna leave our house in Ormoc City to come here to our lot and we're gonna pick what's fed. And we're gonna pick what's ready. We're gonna replant, we're gonna grow, we're gonna look after. Hopefully we can come back each week with stuff like this. Hopefully a bit more in future, we can plant more here and we can have a basket full of fruits and vegetables which will last us for a few days. If we have too many, then we'll share them with neighbours and friends and family. Can I unplug that window? So we're going to go back now, get some breakfast. That's how we start our day here in the Philippines province. Do this. Yeah, so Jane is emulating her father. Taught her all she knows about gardening. Now my parents had an allotment when I was a child and we'd go over on a Sunday usually and me and my sister would help. We used to like collecting the water from the, the big pail in buckets. Apart from when there was a hole, you had to run back quickly before all the water came out. But I do remember Sundays in my childhood sometimes. <laughs> So, calamansi for breakfast. <laughs> calamansi juice. 